Okay, so first thing you want to do if you want to get your AC turned on, and if you feel comfortable doing this on your side, this is just a video that may be helpful for you. Um, it's a very easy process, and we can definitely do this for you as well. Um, but if you feel comfortable doing this, this will be a help helpful video for you. So you come to your water heater door, go ahead and open that up. Hopefully there's a light switch somewhere near that. Here's the light switch for here so you can see it a little easier. But yeah, here's your water heater, right? So locate the two side pipes that connect to the side of the water heater. Not these two on the top, but the ones on the side. So there's that one there on the top side, and then there's that one on the bottom side. They're both copper piping. Some of our newer water heaters are white PVC pipe, but they're connected to the side of the water heater there. Um, find the first one here on the top. And this is the one of the main ones we're gonna focus on. Um, right now, this will be kind of hot because the heat is coming from the water heater and going to the furnace coil. So just locate this pipe and follow it around to where it goes. So that one is actually this pipe here. And you can see right now, there's a yellow tab on it. Um, and that tab is following the pipe completely, right? It's like the exact same direction. So what we want to do is switch this to the off position. Basically what that does is it cuts off your valve from allowing the heat of the coil to get to the or heat of the, the the line to get to the coil so that's the first one you'll do so that one's done the next one is the bottom line so now you're going to want to follow this pipe all the way over all the way up all the way wherever it's going and there's going to be another valve for that one and that one's that one right there and that one's also following the pipe right now it's parallel so you'll want to switch that to perpendicular as well as i just did there now that shut off that heat from accessing to the coil as well. So both of those are shut off now. They're basically facing opposite of what the pipe is doing. And so now you should be able to use your AC. That's all you have to do. So from here, come over to your AC here. You'll hit mode. Make sure this is set up on cool and then auto. And then you can just adjust this to your desired temperature. Of course I have antifreeze blood so I need to keep this down to 72 probably. but Whatever your desired temperature is, I would suggest not going under 69 because that can cause the coils to freeze outside on the condenser units, um, the AC units outside. So thank you very much. Hopefully that helps.